Holy. What's up everyone, this is Tony with Journey Crypto. In today's video, we're gonna quickly be discussing this cryptocurrency market dip, what's going on and what my expectations are for the near future. So before we get started, I do appreciate if you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the bell to be notified when I make new crypto videos. All right guys, so last night we had a crazy cryptocurrency flash crash. Bitcoin crashing 14% very quickly. Everything is already recovering though. So for some people, this presents a great opportunity to pick up the dip. We have to keep in mind, there's a massive amount of new retail investors coming into the space every single day. And these are great opportunities for these people to continue dollar cost averaging. I know if I was new to the crypto space, I would want these type of dips to be able to pick up more and increase the amount of cryptocurrency I'm holding. So we actually have Dogecoin back on the rise again, uh, up 16% today, while everything else is down around 10 to 15%. Bitcoin uh, crashed 14%, as low as $51,500, already on a very quick recovery. So a lot of people did get lucky and bought uh, the dip, but it only lasted uh, for a few minutes and then instantly started recovering. So I'm gonna go into the news with this and why um, there was uh, panic like this and caused the crypto markets to crash this quickly and what my expectations are moving forward as well so before we jump into the crypto news and discuss this cryptocurrency market dip i do want to let you guys know i am doing a one thousand dollar ethereum giveaway on twitter very simple to enter if you guys do want to participate for a chance to win just head over to my twitter page i also post frequently throughout the day on twitter if you guys do want more updates on uh, the markets and major cryptocurrency news I also dropped some stuff here before I mention it on YouTube as well. So at JRNY Crypto, if you do want to uh, check this out, one random uh, person that retweets will be selected uh, from a software and will uh, receive this $1,000 of Ethereum. So before we discuss what caused this panic and cryptocurrency flash crash, I do want to remind you guys the cryptocurrency space is extremely volatile. So it is very important you get as educated as possible. Uh, and do as much research as possible. Don't just ape into random shit coins because everyone is uh, hyping it and there's a lot of FOMO around it. While you may get lucky uh, one or two times, eventually you are going to get wrecked by doing this. So another thing I do wanna point out as well is it's more important that you're educated on how to find cryptocurrency hidden gems than just uh, following YouTubers and influencers that drop hidden gems as well, because more likely than not, you're not gonna hear about it until it's already uh, at a peak price, and then buying at a peak price is much higher risk. So it's more important that you uh, get educated yourself and learn how to find hidden gems rather than just waiting for people to deliver it to you on a silver platter. So a great place to get started in getting educated in the cryptocurrency space is my cryptocurrency guides playlist. The video here being ahead of the herd uh, can not only help you in the cryptocurrency space, but also the stock market and other aspects of life as well. If you can figure out uh, how to predict where demand is headed and be there before that demand is there, that is being ahead of the herd and that's what's gonna make you very successful. So um, I have been very successful doing this myself. Um, I was here during the last bull market, dollar cost averaging from early 2017. Um, my dollar cost average through the entire bear market as well. So that's really what I look for is projects I can trust to hold long term that have a great team, a great vision that I don't have to stress out about every single day. Uh, there's nothing more stressful than constantly refreshing uh, your cryptocurrency app to check the prices and then uh, getting panicked when you see it down five to 10%. So another video I recommend watching here is my altcoin strategy for a huge crypto portfolio. In this video, I discuss how I pull out my initial investment once I'm at a certain uh, percentage profit, and then I let the rest ride and 
uh, start selling small percentages as I get more and more profit and then diversify further. It's also very important to have an exit strategy planned. And this doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to completely exit your position or completely sell your cryptocurrencies and leave the space altogether. This is just uh, where you plan to sell small percentages at certain price targets. This will allow you uh, to be more successful in the crypto space and uh, just have less stress overall. Everyone wants to wait for a major peak price and sell their entire position at that. But by doing that, you're most likely going to sell too early or you're never going to actually hit that price target and get the profits that you want. So it is very important to be educated and uh, strategize and plan out what you're uh, doing in the cryptocurrency space to be most successful. So definitely check out the cryptocurrency guides playlist. There will be a link to this playlist in the top right of this video. I recommend sharing this playlist with friends and family as well. The more educated we get as a whole in the crypto space, the more the crypto space will thrive as a whole as well. So in markets where you're hearing about people doing five to 10 X on many different coins in a short period of time, there's also extreme volatility and you're gonna get huge market corrections of 30 to even 50% or more, especially on the smaller cap altcoins where people just invested a couple months ago and they're up 50 x or more in some cases those people are going to be taking profits and what happens when they take profits in a large amount it dumps the markets because there's not enough buy support and liquidity to keep the uh, altcoin at that higher price so this is why i look for great long-term projects um, in my smaller cap altcoins so i don't have to worry about these small dips and I just take these as buying opportunities to con uh, continue dollar cost averaging. So I also wanna remind you guys, there is no one out there that can predict these markets uh, accurately 100% of the time. These dips are always going to happen, especially on speculation of bad news. So the bad news that we did have here, breaking Bitcoin price crashes 14%, sending cryptocurrency market into tailspin. So Bitcoin price uh, shows massive sell-off as it slid from $60,900 to $51,500, a massive dip for the biggest cryptocurrency in the space. This crash comes after rumors of the U.S. Treasury charging several financial institutions for money laundering using cryptocurrency emerge. Bitcoin could bounce around the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level at 51,240. We're already seeing uh, Bitcoin bouncing back now around $56,000. Ethereum is still at $2,200, which uh, is very close to its all time high. Everything is still looking great to me, but for people that just jumped into the markets at a peak price, this is a massive dip for them. So we have to keep in mind, a lot of new people are getting into the space every single day. And most of these people are going to panic and uh, react out of emotion. This is also very important is to not uh, make decisions out of emotion. So in extremely volatile markets like this, you're also going to have a lot of manipulation. Whales will take this as an opportunity to dump the markets, shake out the weak hands, and then get a better entry price themselves, stacking even more cryptocurrencies. And then uh, we usually get recoveries fairly quickly after this. So I don't think this bull market is anywhere close to being over. I don't think we're entering a bear market. We have so many things that are yet to come like Visa and MasterCard. Uh, more and more institutions are getting in, buying up more and more crypto, taking it out of circulation. While demand increases, supply and demand, the prices should continue rising over time. Of course, in the short term, there is always going to be extreme volatility like I always state. This is why I do dollar cost averaging because these markets are volatile and unpredictable. And anytime breaking bad news like this happens, uh, we are going to be getting uh, some crazy market dips. But like I stated, uh, this is just opportunity for those that are looking to continue dollar cost averaging and increasing uh, their cryptocurrency bag holdings, which is what I'm doing. So we have some other uh, news as well. Coinbase insiders dump nearly 5 billion in coin stock shortly after the listing. This is why I did not buy the Coinbase stock right at the listing. I'm going to let it, uh, things play out because uh, there are people that bought in much earlier that are going to be taking profits, especially when the crypto markets are being volatile. I do think these crypto related stocks are going to be following the market. So I've never been a big fan of Coinbase. I think it's a great platform for onboarding new retail investors. It's very simple to buy and sell cryptos through this, but I like the more advanced trading layouts. There's better opportunities here to set buy and sell orders and uh, 
have smaller fees at the same time these platforms like this have insane fees and then there's spreads on them as well so trading large amounts of crypto you can lose thousands of dollars using platforms like this so uh, in my opinion i prefer binance us if you are in the united states or binance.com if you're global there are links to sign up for both of these exchanges in the video description you will get trading discounts signing up for binance.com with that link as well and it does support the channel so i do appreciate that so i'm going to be doing the first episode of the stocks versus cryptocurrency trading series very soon as well i'm very interested to start diversifying into some cryptocurrency stocks not only just crypto coins so the platform I am using for this is Weeble because they are beginning to start uh, support cryptocurrencies. Currently, they just have four cryptos, but they're working on adding Doge along with some other top 10 cryptos. And the more support these platforms get, the more uh, cryptocurrencies they're going to add as demand increases. This increases accessibility to cryptocurrencies, which just helps bring more mass adoption. So um, if you guys do want to sign up for the Weeble platform, you can get two free stocks that have uh, decent value. Uh, can be up to $1,500 value for one of these stocks if you do get lucky. But the average is around $10 to $30 for these stocks, which is still a great start. So if you use the link in the video description to sign up for Weeble, after uh, you deposit $100 and uh, begin trading, you will get credited two free stocks. So Bitcoin price drops to below 52000 liquidating almost 10 billion dollars so this is why i don't mess with leverage trading because the markets are very unpredictable like i stated and the majority of people right now are just extremely bullish that are new to crypto they're jumping into leverage trading putting in massive longs and then uh, whales take advantage of any breaking bad news and then everyone with their longs get liquidated so I don't recommend messing with leverage trading if you're newer to the crypto space. This is really only for very advanced users. Over 90% of people that leverage trade end up getting liquidated and losing more than they make. So that's it for today's crypto news and market update. I hope you guys found it useful. So I'm still very bullish on the crypto space in the long term. Of course, in the short term, we're always going to have high risk of volatility and market dips. So for most people, this is a great opportunity. I saw a lot of people commenting they bought the dip. Of course, this can continue dipping if we do get more bad news about this. This was just based on speculation. So um, I'm not panicked. I'm not selling. I'm just holding long term. So historically, anyone that bought Bitcoin two months ago or any time previously in its entire existence, everyone that invested in Bitcoin is in profit unless you bought the peak very recently. So uh, that is a good thing to keep in mind. Bitcoin always has higher lows entering the next bear market. This is why a dollar cost average. I'm here for the long term. I'm never going to sell all my cryptocurrencies. So um, if you guys found the video useful, I do appreciate if you guys like the video, comment below and share this video anywhere on social media or with friends and family that may also find it useful. Also, uh, you can share my crypto currency guides playlist with friends and family help them get educated to be more successful in general so again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video